All right. Did you hear the echo of lawn mowers over the weekend? Maybe people were out raking their yards. Well, it's that time of year when the lawn junkies can't wait to get going. New this morning, John Shumway reached out to a turf expert who says you may actually want to wait. So, John, I'm actually excited to hear that I don't have to get started with it <laughs> all, all that soon. But why? Why is the answer? <laughs> well, you know, this, this is something, David, that I have often joked about with my neighbors. When they are the first to go out and start mowing their yards, I go, now nah, you've done it. Well, turns out there's a bit of truth there. Once you mow it the first time, there's no going back. Um, you have to keep mowing it. Jeff Fowler from Penn State, the country's leading turf school, says that mowers wake up the beast. What, does the grass hear the lawnmower and know it's time to grow? Well, no, but when um, mowing stimulates growth, especially in the early spring, sometimes it takes twice a week um, to, to stay ahead of that one-third rule. The one-third rule? Never remove more than a third of the blade of grass. As an example, if your grass is three inches tall, you should never mow it lower than two inches. Putting down herbicides to ward off issues or overseeding with grass seed is fine, but you have to make sure you do it in the right order. Those um, treatments will not only stop the crabgrass and goosegrass and other annual grasses from, from germinating, but they'll also stop the good grasses from germinating. Dandelions, what do we do? We need to, to chemically control dandelions um, if we're going to if we're going to control them, um, and and that time to do that is um, right before they bloom, right before they turn real yellow. Um, go out there with a um, a broadleaf weed killer and and knock them out. Or David, you can harvest the dandelions and make salad, or possibly make some dandelion wine, whichever you prefer. I have never heard of dandelion wine before, but I'm willing to give it a shot. <laughs> uh, so basically, though, he was saying, we learned before, you need to take a soil sample first, or you could just be wasting your money, right? I mean, this yeah. is, and I've never heard of that. I've never done that before. Yeah, and it's a relatively simple thing to do. The kits are like $10. You can get them at the home improvement stores. And he said it's, it's important because it's like going to your doctor and they give you blood pressure medicine, but they never take your blood pressure. How do you know what to put on the lawn if you haven't checked the pH of the lawn? Interesting. All right, I learned a lot in that report, John. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, you mostly learned that you can wait, David. I get it. <laughs> well, that was the big takeaway, but I also learned the one-third thing on cutting yeah. the grass. I didn't know that. Yeah, don't scalp it. Okay, thanks.